Just like I thought, I told you, like clockwork. Home Depot, going to Jacksonville. And this one, they, they only unload at night. So, I guess I'll be home sometime tonight. And the view that I seen on Google was correct. There's plenty of parking to you know, pull in here and back out the way in front of the gate. Now, if I was like 600 miles from the house, I would have parked up last night. If I was really, 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 really far from the house, I would, I would have went. I just would have chanced it and drove all the way here. Um, like I said, it was like a, a 70, or 90, 10 about the parking. But uh, like I said, really, really far from the house, I would have parked up, pulled up out of there, pulled up out the way. Got unloaded and I had all my time, even though I only, you know, hour and a half to get up here, you know, real quick to get unloaded. Um, so like I said, it wasn't really no big deal to me since I'm already in Florida. So I'm like, whatever. But we're gonna eat breakfast. And head on, try to get this load. Pause. I'm trying to pick up. 60 miles. All right, it just gets better. That's this is why I do not like telling you get cheap freight, get bad loads. All right, so 1,700 pounds overweight. All right, anytime I get an overweight ticket, it's always freaking Florida. And it's always coming either at the port or freaking Home Depot. Came out of Home Depot. Bill of Lading says 48,839 pounds. So I'm like, okay, or I know how this is going to go. So, it's always the same scale too. Sometimes it's open, sometimes it's closed. And the kicker is, our CSA score is so high, we always wanna get flagged to come into the damn way station, always. And if it's open, best believe, if you don't get the pre-pass, your stuff better be right. So I forgot how much it is uh, per, uh, per pound, but pretty much $80, $89 ticket. Putting back the registration. So yeah, 1,700 pounds overweight. You know why you're overweight? Cause they overloaded the trailer, crazy. God bless, man. So I was there 30 minutes, long enough to take a break, which I didn't need. I know they say they don't go against your license, but I always just, look at that, 1780. trying to see it's like so much a pound five cents per pound so that's probably probably one of the, the, the cheapest ticket i've gotten or received i know the last two like was over a hundred dollars whatever i'll pay that tonight because yeah i don't have to but i'm pretty sure Somehow, some way, it's going to come back around to me. So, 
I always just pay them, and I'll just be done with it. That's $90. That's that's a freaking bottle of some good cognac and some change and another 30-pack of anything delicious. But enough of that, but it's like you're damned if you do, if you're damned if you don't. Okay, so yeah, I could have been like, no, nah, I'm not going to take this low because it's, it's overweight. But then, you know, you sit around, you wait, trying to get the damn thing uh, reworked and get stuff taken off of it. It takes just as much time. So that's the risk that you take of taking a trailer that's overweight. But see, another TMC buddy got pulled in too. Uh, so if I was a bet man, he's probably a little heavy too. Or, well, yeah, well, he got to be over. He's not getting an inspection because uh, he's not in, in the shed. So, yeah, man, our CSA scores through the roof, so we get flagged a lot more. Uh, so, whatever. So, we try to continue mission. Way to start the weekend. Okay, I made it. I made it. I made it. I made it. $89 later. All right, so... For whatever reason on the dispatch, it says after six o'clock. Instead of just putting 9 p.m., all right, because that's when they start. I got here in time to ask somebody just to verify, just, just in case some crazy reason, they change their, their unload hours at nighttime. So, waiting until nine o'clock to get unloaded. Pre planned on some shingles. Hot garbage, hot garbage, hot garbage, hot garbage. But, Shingles are going to somewhere in North Carolina. Rural Hall, North Carolina. No tarp shingles, 454 miles. And it pays, oh, it was eight, eight something. Whatever it was, not nearly enough. So, I'm gonna get unloaded here, parked on the side. All I gotta do is bust this first left and go straight. Go straight, take off my tarps, take off my straps, and then um, get unloaded. And then I'm gonna circle back around, park there in front, and leave first thing in the morning. So, one thing about getting unloaded at nine o'clock. I'm gonna stay up here until till the night because I don't want my wife wants to you know want my wife to come get me, but it's gonna be late and she has to work in the morning. It's okay. i it's Friday, so I'll come get you. She don't sound like that, I'm just changing my voice. But um yeah, so I'll get back home long enough to take a shower, lay in my bed, set the alarm and wait back up and come back up here and, and uh I'll go pick up my shingles. Lord willing, hopefully, I should have an early day tomorrow. Go get loaded and go park on my spot. Go park and parking. And then uh, I wonder if I should be able to cram and get my hazmat endorsement. Not hazmat, I got hazmat. I mean my uh, tanker's endorsement. Because so I'll tell you what, if I get that tanker's endorsement, it's time to do some things, all right? I really want to, uh, for what I'm making, I should be home every night. I'm not making nearly any kind of money, honestly, anything that's uh, consistent. So what I'm making now, I need to just find something local. But uh, I know like the, the little jobs I've been looking at, like tanker and, you know, you need a uh, tanker and hazmat. I got the hazmat, I just don't have my tanker's endorsement. So... I wonder if I can cram. I don't know if y'all make an appointment or not uh, to take that test. Uh, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna force it. But I do. I do need to start studying and get that test knocked out and get that endorsement on my license and, and be done with it and start applying for some jobs. Uh, I know some places will take you, but you just gotta have it by the time um, you get to work or whatever the case might be. But whatever. So it's five o'clock. We've got four more hours. Got to find something to eat. Fat boy's got to eat. It's been a long, long day. 
and a very frustrating week, you know. Plus is, you know, I'm, I'm already home, so I made the best of it and try again next week, even though it's 4th of July week, uh, so we're going to miss another day probably, but we'll worry about it when we get to it, that's what I always say, so we'll see you on the next one.